Okay, let's move on to the next category, which today I am picking puck skills. We get the Edmonton Oilers, and this will be, I was about to say this will be our draft position, but I was a little early on that one. My bad. Okay, well, we're not rearranging any divisions. Still wish you could do a fantasy draft, adding a 30-second team, but c'est la vie. It is what it is, so let's go ahead and, yep, you, no, never mind. I was thinking about career sim or some other mode. Do not want you to do that. Definitely want fantasy draft on, though. And fog of war, no. Player morale, uh, sure, I guess. And then I'll just turn off morale meetings because they are very annoying. I am just going to be honest. All right, now we will find out which draft position we will be obtaining for this fantasy draft. I have a feeling we're going to be 13. Just a random guess. But, you know, that's a 1 in 31 right there. So... I was very close. Wow. I am very impressed that I was even able to get that close. Okay, let's start the draft here. There should still definitely be some very solid players this part of the draft. Even like the whole first round is just going to be great, great players. So let's see what we get here. Puck skills. Yeah, we have a lot to pick from. Let's see how many five stars there is. Holy crap. Wow. This, this is a category that I can get behind. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm taking Brad Marchand. <laughs> there it is, first pick. It's going to be Bradley himself. I think I'm gonna reunite them. I'm gonna put Bergeron in center. There we go. Now we just need like a right wing sniper and we have a deadly first line. I think we should probably consider picking up a defenseman soon as well though, but it might not be super urgent. Okay, let's see if we can find a, should I pick up cheeseburger or do I get Radulov? I feel like I haven't picked up Phil the Thrill in a while for some reason. I think I've found my guy. D oh, I don't know. I'm so torn right now. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to take the former Bruin very long time ago, Phil the Thrill. I saw that Carey Price just went, so I don't think we're really in any sort of immediate rush to get a goaltender. So I'm probably going to take a defenseman here. Tyson Berry 85 is a good one. You know what? I'm actually going to sort by defenseman so we have only four to pick from interesting so it's either barry yandel keith or brent burns hmm should i just go with the eddie do i take brent and hope for the best i think i do wow they're all still here i am actually very shocked about that well you know what i'm gonna take barry this time next pick i'm gonna take a goalie and then from there we will kind of just i don't know i'll probably just stick on all skaters and see what we can get. But I do want to take a goalie. Because goalies do seem to be quite important. Actually, you know what though? A lot of the teams that I see winning have like 85 overall goaltenders. Whenever we go look at their lines after. So I also feel like I just said go tenders. Like it was like a go-kart. But for like chicken tenders. I'm going to take Dobby. Just because he's an absolute beautician. So yeah, there we go. Dobby, welcome to the team. And this team is going to be good. I have a very, very strong feeling about this one. So let's go to all skaters here again. Let's sort by puck skills. There's, wow, at the top there, three for the five-star category. All right, we are finally able to see the end here. Now, who do I want? Jaden Schwartz, 85 overall, 28. And he's a sniper. He'd be a very good second-line sniper. Radulov kind of would be too, though, I guess. Huh. Yeah, you know what? Hmm, let's take Radulov, screw it. Oh no, no, the screw it logic has returned. That's not good. Oh boy, all right, whatever. Let's go to puck skills again here. Probably gonna be the same people. Oh, we're down to three. So we got Pavelski, Dadanov, and we have Keith. Dadanov's only making five million. Can he play on the left side, perhaps? He's left slash right wing. Would it be a bad idea to have two snipers on the same line? Probably. Unless we demote Marchand to the second line. Probably wouldn't be too happy about that, but it is what it is. All right, you know what? I'm going to take Dadanov. I believe Pavelski should go kind of soon. Keith might stay because he's older, so hopefully I'll get him next round. And then we have our third defenseman, which an 85 overall for... Oh, Pavelski is still here. Now the question is, is Keith still here? And yes, he is. So let's take him. We might have to take Pavelski. He's probably going to have pretty decent... Uh, face-offs. I think he played center for a while, right? I was kind of surprised to see him as a right winger. For some reason, I was 
programmed to think he was a centerman, but he's gone anyway. The only two players we have to pick from are Getzlav and Shattenkirk. I think I'm going to take Getzlav, honestly. A second line center, and he's a power forward. He can play with those two snipers, just get them the bisque. Yeah, let's do it. Getzlav, welcome to the team. All right, Shattenkirk is still here, and I will be scooping him up now. He can play on that second pair. Boom. 3.9 million is a little steep, but I again, salary is not really... It, it doesn't really play a factor. I just, for some reason, would like to try and keep it close. But we only have 17 million left, and we got a lot of picks left. So I think this one is getting thrown out the window. But I could also take... No, I can't take Big Z. He has two and a half star puck skills. I almost forgot. However, I can and will take Jumbotron. Yeah, there we go. Four star puck skills and 82 overall third line center. That is prime time. He's also going to be reunited with Burns. So, you know, I'm bringing that whole chemistry into the locker room. I'm pretty sure Zuccarello's been genuinely just tearing up the NHL recently. Or he had a very good streak anyway. So, good for you, Zook. Uh, Henrik Zetterberg, I'm still always surprised to see him still in the game. For some reason, I really want to take Nikita Gusev. So, I'm, I'm going to do it. There we go. I do also want to draft a goalie again here soon. We have only two more defensemen we need. And we still need, I guess, four forwards. And a goaltender. So let's go ahead and... Oh, nope. Wrong one. Goalies, who do we got here? Who's going to be our backup? I really want to pick Hank. I really do. But, man, he has let me down in the past. Huh. All right, I'm going to give him another shot here to redeem himself. We still have a lot of players to pick from with the four-star puck skills. So that's not really going to be fading anytime soon. We are definitely going over the cap, though. And there's not really much I can do about that. But do I want to take Martinez or do I want to try and build out that third line a little more here? I could take Zook. What type? He's a playmaker, right? You know what? Yeah, he's making six million, but whatever. He's been doing really good recently. So I'm just going to take him. Oh, actually, a lot of them went. That's surprising. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, well, on that note, let's pick up Patty Hornquist. As the third line, well, I, I don't even know, honestly. You know, Normally, it's like sequential, so I draft that way. But recently, I haven't really been paying attention to actual positions. I've just been drafting forwards. And yeah, that's definitely a, a new thing for me. So I don't really know what line he's going to end up on. And also chemistry, maybe he'll be on the first line. We are going to be so far over the cap. I got I just got to try and let it go. It, it bothers me, but I got to try... And just get past it. But even in my head, if this team does really good now, and we do end up winning the cup, there's going to be an asterisk beside it. Because I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right going that far over the cap. I wonder if other computer teams do. Probably not. I had no idea that Stasny was making six and a half. That is wild. But either way, let's pick him up. So we need one more forward, one more defenseman. And we have, I'll, I'll take Parise, I guess. We're already over the cap. So at this point, yeah, let's just go all out. Pick up whoever, and then let's also draft one last defenseman here and put the team together. They're probably going to do very good, honestly. This is one of the drafts I have felt extremely confident in, especially compared to the recent ones. But who do I want to be the last? Okay, at least... At least these caps are reasonable. We're not going extreme here. I kind of want to find a defensive defenseman. So let's see if we can get one here because I don't think... Nope, there is none. That's great news for me. <laughs> so basically we can take Miko Lettinen. I feel like I've never even seen this guy really. So I'm, I'm going to take him for that reason. There you go. Welcome to the dream team. Oh, let's go ahead and simulate the entire draft. That will take about five minutes and I'll be with you guys when that's done. I'm actually trying to remember everyone we drafted, but I, I do think this team is going to be disgusting. I just hope the chemistry works out. We got Marchand and uh, Bergeron together. And then we also have the Yeti and Jumbo Joe reuniting. So let's see what we can do here. And head coach can help. No, don't even think about helping. Stay away from my line. I drafted way too many snipers, I think. is You know, he's a power forward. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I need to try and rearrange a little bit more. All right, I'm done jumbling around with this. Screw it. Here we go. We got two plus threes, and then we got a zero with Marshan on the third line. And then this fourth line is just doomed, but it is what it is. And then we've got one zero one here on defense. 
And then in net, we've got Dobby and Lundqvist. I don't know, the chemistry thing just made me lose faith in this team, but we'll see what happens. Looking at this, I'm actually going to say that the most points goes to Radulov. Let's say he gets 75. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I think the team will get 46 wins. Okay, we're off to a, a decent start here. 7-3-0 looked a lot better than 7-4-0. And it also looked tremendously better than 7-6-0. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go... I don't understand. Okay, I'm actually not going to simulate the full season at a time here. I'm going to go for another about a month and a half, see where we sit, and then I will probably change the lines because I don't understand why we suck is uh, probably the best way to put it. All right, I've had enough. I have had enough of this. I'm going to edit the lines. Yeah, Marshan has the most points right now, and he's on the third line, and that's a zero chemistry. I think chemistry is overrated in this game. All right, well, I'm just going to run with this then. 1-1, one, 0-0, one, oh, oh, and then 101 again here on defense. I don't know what to tell you. It's not even like our chemistry is bad on here either. Like, it's okay. I am just baffled. So apparently our team just sucks. I don't know what it is, but we are just awful. It's good. That's awesome. I guess even though our team has the filthiest mittens in the league, it's still not good enough. Yeah, this is just... Ugh, it's so annoying. Do you guys have any idea what I'm doing wrong? Because if if you do, speak up. I'd love to know. I mean, I changed the lines up a little bit, and we've been really good since then, but I, there's no way we're making the playoffs still. Okay, we actually kind of have a chance at making it into the playoffs, but there is a 0% chance that I'm getting my hopes up. Because, yeah. <laughs> I expected to do good, and then we weren't. And then I jumbled the lines, we still weren't. And now I messed with the lines a little bit again, and here we are. And by the way, not a single plus three chemistry on the lines that I edited. Um, yeah, we actually... Are, are you kidding me? Okay, well, let's get destroyed in the first round here. Get pummeled, in fact, by Chicago. All right, we're down 2-1 at the moment. About to be 4-1. Oh, okay. There it is. We actually had a decent push, kind of. The Dallas Stars are the Stanley Cup champions. All right. So we ended up finishing 44-30-8 somehow. Miraculous. I want to know what our record was after I changed the lines. Because that is... <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, anyway, here are the standings. We finished fourth in the Pacific. And then I'll just go to the entire league and just kind of show you guys. Tampa Bay won the Presidents. Where did Dallas finish, actually? I didn't really see them. Oh, wow. Wow. Really? Marchand got the most points on our team with 73. All right, there it is, and I'll scroll down briefly here. Where did Phil Kessel go? Yeah, he went all the way down to like 80 overall. Now he bumped back up to 84. Like, why, man? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Goalies, let's see what happened. 902. Lundqvist, like, I'm, not, I'm not drafting Hank again. I'm sorry, Hank. I can't do it. This is the second time you've let me down. So here's Dallas's team. They have a pretty solid lineup, I guess you could say, for sure. And then in net, they have Carter Hart. Interesting. Tampa Bay had Bishop in net, so he came back to Tampa. And then all skaters, we've got Stamkos, all right. Wheeler, Pacioretty, Hoffman, Lars Eller, Latang, Hintz, Dahlin. Yeah, they drafted a pretty good team, but still, I don't know, like, they're not, like, that much better than us, are they? Let's go through these awards really briefly here. Just see Backstrom with the Art Ross and the Memorial. Wow, Nick Backstrom. There you go. The Norris goes to Carlson, Lady Bing. Okay, so the Capitals are just sweeping right now. Speaking of, <laughs> I mean, he's not actually a Capital, but there he is. Calder Memorial goes to Kaprizov. Johnny Goods gets the Con Smythe. Vesna goes to Bishop. The William M. Jennings goes to Bennington. We got Peak, Peaky. I have no idea. Peaky Blinders. Bill Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Powell, Barkov with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay goes to Backstrom, and the Rocket Richard goes to Ovi. Well, here's the playoff tree, guys. We somehow miraculously made it in with the greatest comeback in season history. Like, we pretty much St. Louis blues that thing. But, um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so, I think we have two categories left now. I'm pretty sure, anyway. But, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you soon.